think somebody needs to hear this. Imagine that someone has come up and offered you a full-ride scholarship to college, and then a full-ride all the way, yeah, like, like Carter, or Jonathan, excuse me, I have to call it. They've, they've offered you a full ride to, to, co- to college, and then they've offered you full ride to medical school, and then they're going to put you in a, in a thriving practice. And you go, oh, man, absolutely, where do I sign? And then they say, okay, there's, there's one little thing, though, we need to tell you. If, when you're in that practice, you, you have one misdiagnosis, if, when you're in medical school, you fail one test. If when you're in college, you miss one class, we take it all back. Now, what seemed like a really good deal at first now has become this horrible pressure of, "Ah, I can't mess up. But then another guy comes up and he goes, same deal. I'm going to give you college. I'm going to give you medical school. I'm going to put you into into a thriving practice. And you ask those questions. What if I miss a class? What if I fail a test? What if I miss a diagnosis? And he looks at you with this huge grin and he goes, yeah, I already figured that in. Jesus has already figured it in. There's nothing you've done that he didn't already know about. Oh no, I'm pretty good at hiding. You're not that good at hiding. He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He knows the stuff that you've forgotten. He loved you even though, even still, while you were yet a sinner, he died for you. The one thing that I want to pray for everybody today is that you would get a glimpse of how much he loves you. Because if you can really, because I know there are some of you who feel like, man, I am so unlovable. I am so unlovable undesiring, undeserving of being loved. That's not what the King of Kings and Lord of Lords thinks about you. He loves you. He came so that you could have a relationship with him. He did all the work. He made a way where there was no way. So this morning, as we, as we conclude, if, if there's never been a time in your life when you've accepted the free gift of, of salvation, the free gift of love, today would be a great day to do it. I'm going to be over there after the service, and you can come just talk to me privately. And, 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 and look, it's, 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 it'll change your life. If you're here today and you're really struggling with that, Mike, yeah, that's real great and all, but I don't think that applies to me. Okay, well, here's your assignment this week. You find the scripture where it gives you the loophole that you are not in. And then next Sunday we'll talk about it. And trust me, you won't find the loophole that says you're not in. Because it's not in there. Christ came for you because he loves you. And if you have any other prayer needs, then I'm going to just be, like I said, I'll be over there after the service. I really want to thank you. I want, uh, want to invite you tomorrow night, 5 o'clock. Make sure I didn't put any cool slide. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, we're going to have a great time of communion. I really look forward to being able to serve you communion. So uh, you will make my Christmas if you can come tomorrow night and let me do that um, as your pastor and friend. Um, and I know we've got a lot of family in, in town. The Lanskins are here. And yay, we're the new baby, don't touch the baby. Just, just telling you. Um, Andreas will go ahead. Andreas is the bodyguard of the baby. Uh, but just family and, and uh, uh, to have Robert and the, just his whole, his whole clan here. But especially, I want to say welcome to our ladies who are representing Beauty for Ashes. Thank you for coming. Uh, we have a mutual friend um, who uh, can't believe that I'm actually a pastor. So now you can go back and tell her whatever you want, but she still won't believe it. Um, but uh, let's stand together and, and close in a word of prayer. God, Holy Spirit, some of us are really struggling believing that we're loved by the one who spoke the world into being. We struggle thinking we're loved by our parents. We struggle thinking we're loved by 
our husbands or our wives, we struggle to think that we're loved by our parents. Holy Spirit, I ask that you, that you push those walls, that you make a way so that we can experience, not just hear about, but we can experience your love for us. Because when we know that we are loved, we can do such great things. We can do such powerful things. We can love people who we never could have loved, but we can only do it with your power. We can only do it with the realization that you love us unconditionally. And then it frees us to start loving people unconditionally. And you want us to love like you love. And so you're going to equip us to do that through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the presence of the Holy Spirit in our life. Help us to get everything out of the way. Help us to do our part so that you can do your part. We don't want to stand in your way. I do pray, God, if there's anybody here today and they, don't, they just don't know you, Holy Spirit, speak to them. Whatever it is that they're waiting for, whatever it is they've said, well, if I hear this or if I think this or if, I, if, I, if, if this happens, then I'll know. I ask that those things would happen. And that would be one more way where they'd realize you love them enough to adjust to them so that you can help them adjust to you. And God, I just pray for this, this week, and I know uh, uh, tomorrow night being Christmas Eve, Sunday being, or Tuesday being Christmas Day, God, glorify yourself in every home that's represented here. We love you, and, and we, we're, we love giving gifts. We love being with each other, and, and uh, we, we just pray that you would be glorified in everything that's said and done. Bless us now as we go into the world. Not only are we carriers of hope, we're carriers of peace, we're carriers of joy, but also you want us to be carriers of love and infect everyone we come in contact with and expand your kingdom for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, you are dismissed.